Hello, welcome to another video. Now we're finally gonna dive into data quality. How do you set this up in Purview? But before we do that, you have to actually register your data product and connect that to some sort of data source before you can do the data quality settings. Take a look at my previous videos to do that. And now let's head over to the data quality part. So go into the uh, data catalog and then data quality features of Purview. Go into the data product that you've already registered. And if you open that one up, you see that you have a quality score and you see this uh, warning sign. If you click on that, you see that we don't have any connection. So before we can do the data quality scan, you need to actually to set up a connection for that scan for data quality specifically. So go into connection, click new, give it a, a good name that makes a lot of sense for you. Choose the type of source that you want to connect to. So here I'm doing Fabric as an example um, and click save. If you now go back into data quality and open up this uh, data product once more, you'll see that that warning sign has disappeared. That means that we're ready to actually run the data quality scan. So open up the data product that you want to uh, do the data quality scan on and open up the data asset that you want to do the quality scan on. And here you see that run data quality scan is grayed out, but profiling is active. So uh, click on profiling, then you choose the actual columns that you want to profile, click save, and then that's going to be running in the background. Before we can run the actual data quality scan, you need to create some data quality rules. And there's a bunch of different rules that's already built in that you can choose from, or you can create and design your own. So let's say that we want to check the unique values of this table uh, for this location ID. So I'll choose that, give it a good description, and then click create. Now we're ready to run the quality scan. So now you see that that button is not no longer grayed out. We'll click on that. Um, and then that's also running in the background. Now there are a couple of things that we can check while we're doing this. So if you go into the data product and click on manage, you see that we can look at scheduled scans, alerts, connections, and also monitoring. If you go in here, you see that we are now uh, running these data quality scans and then both for data quality and profiling, then you can see um, how those scans are doing. And we can also go into the schedulation of scans. And that's because you might want to schedule data quality scans uh, separate to the actual um, scan that we're doing towards the connection of the source. So you can also schedule this in the same way and have now I cheated a bit. So now the uh, data quality scan and profiling is done. If we go back to the data product now, you see that, wow, we have a score. So we have a health score telling us something about the quality of our data product as a whole, and also the separate data assets that we have connected to this data product. If we open up the specific data asset, you can see uh, the score, the overall score uh, for all the different rules. You can also see how that might vary um, in time. And we can go into each specific data quality rule and see what was the score for each rule. If you go into profiling, we see here that um, we now have profiling for each of the columns. So you can see the total row, number of rows, you need columns, duplicate values, empty values, and so on, and see the distribution here as well. So this is a great tool for exploration of the data and also obviously for uh, quality checks. Now, if you go into the data product again and you click on these actions, you see here that based on the data quality scans that we run, there are now, now a set of uh, actions set up for us based on the result of that. Then you can give that action a status. You can assign it to someone um, and you also get a recommendation on how you could tackle uh, this, um, this uh, data quality result. So this is also a good feature and tool for the data stewards that are going to monitor the data quality and also um, to be able to report on how they're working with the data quality issues. That was data quality summarized and quickly showed for you guys. And um, let me know what you think of the data quality features in Purview. I think these are one of the most interesting features, definitely opening up a new world of data management that we haven't seen before uh, in, uh, in Purview. See you in my next video.